Good morning, everybody. Welcome to part two of our playthrough of Resident Evil 2, the PS1 original. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, where do we got to go? Let's see where we left off last time. I think we have to go, if I remember correctly, it's the sewers, which I think is on the very right. Yeah, so that would lead us underground. So we're going to go right. I just want to make sure I have enough equipment we need. We'll need the crowbar. We can put the ink ribbon away for now. Let's go put that away to free up some space. And I have no doubt we're going to get into a heap load of trouble here. So I better take some rations. <coughs> Brandon, what's up, buddy? Hello. How you doing? Ah, uh, Jacques, I don't know, dude. I don't know why it's not notifying you. You have notifications on, obviously. Um, That's weird. That's really strange. I just went live like this second, so. Uh, all right. I think this will be enough. All right, let's head to the, uh, the basement. Did I get the crowbar? Yes, let's head to the basement. Skynet is out to get me. <laughs> or out to get you. Maybe they're out to get you, dude. Now. You guys are two for two. Welcome. Appreciate you hanging out this morning. That was a really great morning coffee stream this morning. That was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about one of my favorite systems, the Turbo Graphics. That was great. Things are a lot clearer now as to why, unfortunately, the system did not work. But I still love it, and there's still some great games. And I still love playing them. Oh, uh, I'm going to just dodge this guy. I don't want to deal with his garbage. Let's head to the basement. What are we doing? Oh, thanks, guys. It was great. I promise I'm going to finish Kung Fu, Kung Fu Fury today. <laughs> I Yeah, it's pretty short, too, which is great. That's a really great uh, short. And we could talk about that. Definitely not streamable, but that's okay. Kung Fury, that's it. Now, I'm going to head to that sewer before we... Actually, sorry, before we head to the... Oh, God. Before we head to the sewer, the manhole to prop it open. There's another area I remember that we have to go to. I'm going to press my luck one of these times, and these things are going to jump out of these windows and scare the crap out of me. Uh, morning, Jeff. How are you? Lisa's here. Let's friggin' go. Well, it's just a different rating system. Um, if I show, like, a lot of ultraviolence and swearing, it's a different bracket for who wants to advertise. Again, it's another reason why I don't like to swear, you know? But you never know who's going to be watching, so I just want to avoid any of that stuff. Okay. So let's go down here. This is the area we didn't go in yet. It leads down where you go down. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do it. I don't know if the other manhole that we have to prop open connects with this. I'm assuming it does at some point. Now, I know what's down here, okay? You want to see me squirm, you're about to. I was watching a speed run of this. I know what's down here. The thing in Resident Evil I hate the most... I really, really don't want to see these things, but I know they're down here. 
I'm gonna equip the shotgun just in case. Oh god, I, I really dislike... Maybe they're in the other part. Sky falls two for two. How you doing, brother? Skyfall, you working today? Or are you are you off? I don't think we need to save it. Watching the memories, I like that. Watching the memories into the truck drive. Well, it's good of you to help out, man. I think I'm just gonna take the one piece of health. Uh, we still have that small key, which will give us a gun upgrade. Okay, well, we don't need to save here, even though we're really, really good on ink ribbons. I'm proud of us for uh, hanging on to them for so long. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm going to wreck it for everyone. The frig... Oh, I was swore. The frigging spiders are down here. Oh, I hate them so much. And you can... I know they're in the other part for sure. I don't know if they're here, but I'm assuming because we're underground. Oh my god, I don't want to do this part. I don't want to do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. 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 Oh, I'm already itchy. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Oh god. Fence is broken, it's too small for an adult to enter. Okay, so it's the other part coming up when we have to crack open the manhole. You know what? I'm just gonna man up and face him. And I'm not even gonna run, I'm gonna kill him. So there's no wait a minute, there's nothing down here except that part. I don't remember there being a kid or like a small person for this part. Fence is broken. It's too small for an adult to enter. Okay, well. There's nothing else here. So I guess we have to go to the other area. Great. So now you're really going to see me squirm. Because I know they're in this next area. The end of the hall is the weapons area. Uh, we can't get there without the key card. Okay, I'm just refreshing autopsy room. It's locked. Okay, so we can't get in there. And this is the weapons area right here. We can't get in without a card, so we need a key, and then we need a key card. I'm, I'm with you, Brandon. I need the sunshine, too. It really affects my mood. Um, I don't notice it as much now, streaming so much, which is good. But normally, I can't stand winter. And it's not just the, the cold and the snow. It's, it's just really crappy weather for, like, over six months here in, in our part of Canada. This is that dog in the kennel, I think. He wants a piece of me, that's for sure. Oh my god.
It's time to play Let's Face Our Fears. I'm not even, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not even kidding with you guys. These spiders in this game have always been with me as some of my most horrific moments in video games. Especially with the first Resident Evil. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm f for real, like, freaked out here. All right. Here we go. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh god. Now, there's two of them. Again, I watched the speed run, so I know there's two of them. Should I just run or should I fight them? I guess I should face my fears, Jedi style. I'm going to harness my Luke Skywalker. Oh, yes, I'll go down the ladder. Here we go. It's not the dog that I'm worried about. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, my God. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Look at it on the ceiling. Hear it? Oh, it's behind me. Holy crap! I got super lucky that it didn't attack me. There's another one here. I don't have any more shotgun bullets. That's okay. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Sorry, I do. That was... I made it out to be a lot worse than it was. It's just a personal phobia of mine. I hate them in this game. There's another one around the corner here. I'm all friggin' itchy. Oh, my God. Okay. They're easy to kill. They just creep me out, man. There'll be another one here. Oh, God. Be a man. You got this. Man up. Where is it? It's going to be around the corner. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Come on. We did it. I wish I had a chainsaw. We did it. Um, I I don't like him cutthroat. It's not that I'm. I, well, yeah, I'm scared. Spiders creep me out, right? We all have our phobias. These in particular in this game. We did it. And like I said, I watched the speed run, so I knew they were coming. Okay, God. You know what? I'm glad that we took care of them so now we don't have to see them again when we go back and retread that area. We don't have any spiders like that around here. I, I would I would I don't know, maybe I wouldn't be as scared if they were if they were common. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Okay, where are we going here? We have two doors we can go to, so let's check this first door. <coughs> Brandon, yeah, it's the ones that have hair and fangs and that are actually, like, animals. No, thank you. We all know that one dude in high school who had the pet tarantula. No, thank you. No, thank you. Ooh. Snakes do it for you, Cutthroat? Yeah. My buddy had a snake, too. Not the same guy. I remember I would go to his place. And he'd always do the same thing. He'd pull it out of the tank, the snake put it on the ground and it didn't do anything right but I remember you know having my feet on the ground on the couch and the snake would be coming towards me and I'd put my feet up I'm like dude put this friggin thing away like snakes not as much as uh, spiders though but hey we all have our phobias right okay so that blue herb I can't remember what the blue herb does I think it cures poison uh which makes sense because that's what the spiders would have done. 
Ink ribbon is right here. Yeah, creepy crawlers, dude. Forget it. Forget it. I don't think we should save right now. We haven't done a lot. We all had the pet tarantula guy. Maybe not as a friend, but we all knew that guy in high school. And again, I'm sure I'm the one who's the problem, right? He's just an animal. Maybe we've been conditioned to fear them. I don't know what it is. Enough about the spiders. I'm sure we're going to see another one to scare me in a second. A bald python. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. As snakes, they're not pleasant. But for me, it's not as bad as the spider. We have all these valves here. Uh, another manhole. I don't want to go any farther. All right, I'm going to go check out just the other area of this hall before we go and explore this room. Shock, I bet you do, man. Yeah. Ada. Ada? That was a surprise. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go inside. Hey, look who's awake. You slept in. Good for you, dude. Thank you for the morning super chat, brother. Appreciate it. Check your inbox for your Instagram. Appreciate the support, man, as always. Okay, so now I'm Ada. Oh, I forgot about this part. Uh, this is this is where I fell asleep on the speed run the other night, actually, watching it. Um, so I guess we can explore that area. We're now Ada. Yeah, buddy, get yourself a pair of those bad boys. Uh, get get it in quickly. I think the pre-orders stop the 16th, he said. Oh, God, I haven't seen the dog. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Ada doesn't have the machine gun gun. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. Hold up. I was holding the button down. She has a spray. Ah, uh, she only took a little little nick. I forgot I don't have the machine gun pistol. Okay, I'll be prepared now. Let's do this. Alright, come on. Where are you? Possessed dogs. Boom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. Come on. Boom. 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 Let's reload. These are tough dogs, man. Yeah, they're tough. Uh, I'm up at 6 a.m. Cutthroat. I think that's, what, 3 o'clock in the morning your time? I'm always up at 6 a.m. every day. There's a lot of prep to do for my days. That's when I do that. I get caught up on comments. I prep the streams. Yeah. I ha like, I have no choice. I have to get up that early. Even before that, I was always an early riser. Which is hilarious because I used to stay up late too. Now I don't do that at all <laughs> anymore. I think I was up till midnight last night. And I woke up at 6 this morning. I, I thought I was going to die. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, you're in uh, Cali. A lever to fill and drain the water. Will you move it? No. You guys know me. I'm not going to start flicking switches and stuff until I've explored all the areas. All these wonderful people from all over planet Earth. This is great. Jacques, it's 6 p.m. there. Okay, 
so let's check out this area first. I'm sure we have to hit the switch to move this thing or whatnot, but we're going to try it anyway. Are we going lower? Oh, God. No spiders, please. I forgot you played Ada. That's pretty cool. What is this? Shotgun shells? I, like, I don't know if I should take those. If I take them, does that mean Leon can't get them? The water pipe is under construction. There's nothing else down here. Okay, well, this might get flooded, so I think I'm going to pick them up. I don't want to lose out on them. What's up, Stanley? What did we miss? I missed something? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I didn't restart. Yeah. So if you didn't if you didn't see the first stream, I you did. I think you're there. We're just continuing from the last stream. I didn't restart. I usually restart the games, but this one uh, I'm I'm gonna keep keep going so we can get through it. But this is cool. I forgot your Ada. Oh yeah, okay. I forgot about this whole. I don't even remember any of this. So I guess we're gonna hit the switch. Oh, I didn't explore down there first. Oh, I hope I can lower it again. This is PS1. This is like original. Although Resident Evil 2 and 3 were on Dreamcast. They were on GameCube. GameCube is the premium version of this old school one. Uh, I can't go down here. It's not letting me down here. So what am I supposed to do? There's someone out there. So I'm supposed to fill the water? Oh, yes, Stanley, yes, 64. 64 is, like, such a good one. I've talked about that one before. There's so many exclusives on the 64. So strange that 64 just got number two, and that was, like, it. What am I missing here? Thought I had to go down there and move the boxes. I'm gonna go down here again now that I've hit that switch. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot smoother on GameCube and Dreamcast, but I just like the the original old school. I like the other ones too, but. There's something charming about these original graphics that I just really appreciate. Okay, this didn't do anything. Oh, well, you can help me out, dude, for sure. Because I don't remember this part. The police station 
I remember sections of it, but this stuff here, I don't remember any of it. There's, there's nothing either way here. Let me look at the map. Do I have to go back where Leon is? Because there's nothing else to do here. Where's this thing? I can step on. Nope. Okay, let's go back and see if I can reactivate Leon. I don't think there's anything else to do. The rising and lowering of the water, though. I thought I had to get in that little area and move the boxes. I just hear something. It's sealed firmly. You bought an unsealed bottle of G.I. Joe shampoo. Cutthroat, I was just I was just there. I was just at that spot, yeah, and that's what I thought too, is that I drained the water and then jumped down. So what am I am I just not what am I missing? What's over here? This is where it is. Right, so we go here to the ledge. I'm hitting the action button. Nothing happens. So go drain the water. Look for ledges. I could have sworn I did that. We'll try it again. Obviously, there's something I'm missing. Lex, what's going on? I need to fix the boxes, right? Okay, so why can't I get down here? What am I missing? Try the gate. Was there another spot? What the heck? What in the heck is going on? I don't want to have to look this part up already. Maybe there's another way to get to that. No, this is just a big open room. Any ideas? It's so weird. You're looking right now, okay. Well, there's just that gap right here. And I should be... Yeah, it is something simple. I I should be able to just jump down and have to move the boxes in a certain order. Walk around the switch. Where? Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> there you go. Camera angles. I didn't even see that little area. Appreciate it. No. Oh. 
Come on, Ada, you got this. Thought I could maybe jump back up. But I'm going to go around again, and then I'm going to put the water up. And hopefully that lets us go to the other side. Oh, tank controls. I love you. Thanks, guys, for the help. We did it. This will get us. What do we get? Oh, dun, 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 the club key. Yeah, the sixty-four one has cool stuff like exclusive costumes. Um, the cinematics are pretty rough too, right? I mean, it's a cartridge, understandable. There's exclusive costumes. You can pick the violence level. You can pick the color of the blood from the zombies. Oh, that was not me, Cutthroat. That was you guys. Thank you. You got me through that. Yeah, I would, I would choose the PS1. Although I really haven't given the 64 one a fair go. Okay, so we have the key. Now we're going to go back to Leon. I played a little bit of it on Dreamcast. It's actually really good. And the Leon, GameCube one, I think, is the best me? version. Graphically. Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Yeah, but that key opens up a whole new world, buddy. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Oh yeah, the small, the small white one. The PS1, like O-N-E. Did she not give me the shotgun shells? Oh, she did, okay, good. I need these for sure. Okay. And she's gone. Yep. We used her for that one little part. Oh, it's cool to be a different character. It's pretty cool. Little puzzle with Ada. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's go back here. Oh, no, I got to go back through here. Oh, they're dead. We killed them, right? They, they're they not going to come back. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I'm so itchy. I hate it. Get me out of here, man. There's so many games I've wanted to go through again on PS1. Oh, is this dog going to break through now? Uh, Final Fantasy VIII, which I don't think I ever gave a fair chance to. I really want to play that again. Okay, guys. Uh, I think I want to save it. Where's the club key? Uh, we should go open, I guess. The green door, which is to our left. Wait. 
Wait, am I going in the right direction? Yes. Yes. I saw a set of the uh, four precinct keys on Amazon, but they were sold out. I'm assuming they were from a long time ago. But that would be cool, a little prop to have. What is that noise? Whoa, brother! Did you see that? Did you see that long range slash? What a son of a bugger. Well, you're gonna pay for that one, brother. You're gonna pay for that one. Boom! Hey! So you're gonna pay this minute! Did you guys see that around the corner jump slash? Oh man. I'm clipping that later. That was a legendary move. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, those keys are cool. I like anything. Oops. What is... Any of that prop stuff, I'm a big fan of. It just puts you... It immerses you more into the actual world when you have a physical prop of something. That Le I have that Leon Kennedy statue from the collector's edition of um, the 2 remake, and I just love it. He's actually... You can't see him. He's right up on my shelf here. I just love it. Just having that real world physical item. All right, let's go. I've used the precinct key. We still need it. Yeah, did you see that? They 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 got me pretty good at those liquors. Look me off. Oh boy. This is where I should have the knife, but I don't. Uh, is there any way around this? You know this is just going to be trouble in a matter of seconds. Ah! There's the card key we need for the armory. Cheers! And you know what's going to happen? The whole room is going to come to life. Let's go. Let's friggin' go. Bring it on. Nah, I'm running. Holy crap. I'm not running. Oh, Jesus. Easy. Focus, focus. Son of a... Ordered, save it. I got to use... I have to use the shotgun. You can't die now. What? That guy's pants. His pants are walking! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Damn it. Where's the safe room? Okay, now I'm, now I'm nervous. I almost want to just run back. No, I'm not going to run back because I have to go down that hallway. Where's the save room? There's the armory. Oh, I want to go in there so bad. And we got to save it. We got to save it. I can't do all this again. I can't. I, I forgot. I got so excited that we had a new key. I do need Rick Grimes. Although I would take Shane over Rick any day. Yep. I'm one of those guys. John Bernthal's my man. Plus he's the Punisher. I mean, come on. Shane plus the Punisher. Like, that's like lethal. take Rick over Shane for real like in this situation right here really
All right, don't say anything, please. All right, we're done. I haven't finished the show yet, so please don't say anything. I try not to bring up Walking Dead as much as I want to, so I don't know what happens, so don't say anything. Please and thank you. Yeah, no spoilers, and yeah, Lisa and I are a little behind, but that's okay. We're, we're going through it now. Why can't I find the save room? We're getting through it at a good pace though, because yeah, I wanna I wanna talk Walking Dead. And I realize that I'm really, really late to the party. Anyway, I gotta Stop talking about that. All right, so we don't have Rick and we don't have Shane. We just have Leon. And I'm trying to find a save room like an idiot. I'm almost going to have to go through the police station again if I can't find it. Because we need to save. We need to heal and we need to save. I'm getting itchy. Oh, wait, there's a red herb over here, I think. Oh, it's a green one. Yes. Even better. Can use that right now. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. That odd topsy room was pretty hairy. Brandon's quiet. Did you make it into the ammo? Uh, the ammo story at Brandon. Should we should we go and save it or should I go in this new room? I feel like if we die now, it's gonna really just kill the mood. So let's just keep going to save it. You're not there yet. All right. Remember, my friend, my game pro tip: the the store owner, when he gets taken out, go and uh, grab his shotgun. It won't be easy, but do it. Tangled up in the cords here. Give me just one second. Oh God! I'm gonna tell you guys one of my pet peeves with playing games and with my guitar is when the cord gets tangled up. Oh my God! And you get that weird pull. It's like pulling. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Why, why play it on hard? I don't know. I think if you're an elite gamer, I'm certainly not. So, yeah. You might have to take out a few of the zombies. But remember, that's where the, the, the easiest shotgun is. And you can get it right away. The mistake that I made the first playthrough of this. All right. Well... I'm sorry, guys. I'm going the long way. For some reason, I, I can't find the stupid save room. We're going through the, to the police station again. Because I'm super nervous. I'm sure this hallway is going to lead to uh, some pretty big obstacles. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't been in this door either. Do I have the key for this door? It's green. Okay, I'm not going to go in it. There's two doors I think we can go in now. Oh, God. Something's going to happen. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Thanks, dude. I know everyone kind of tackles these games their own different way. I just... Uh, I know one thing that takes the steam out of me when I'm playing Resident Evil is when I die. And uh, I've done so much that when I respawn again, I literally don't remember what I have to do over again. I, yeah, that sucks. We've been spoiled with the remakes because we don't need the ink ribbon anymore. So we can constantly just save and save and save, which I do. By the way. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday, guys. Are we into the afternoon yet? 
No, it's still 11 a.m. This is great. ribbon and then we're gonna save then we're gonna go back actually it's kind of good we're doing this because there's that one door before the stairs to the basement too that is still locked zambi's got ya yeah that first part's tough especially when you're learning the controls brandon they just throw you into that first part it's like oh here you go good luck and there's like four zombies you have to dodge Oops. I died. I died there too, man. Almost dark. Ooh, getting scary. So, Jacques, you like the uh, Resident Evil 4 demo? Did you like it? I cannot wait. Cannot wait for, what is it? Not next week, the week after. Oh my god. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do digital too. Because I don't know anyone who's still doing pre-orders. It's weird I don't work at the game store anymore. I haven't had to worry about ordering games or any of that stuff for like 20 years. And this is the first real big release. Where it's like, oh crap, I didn't pre-order it. So I might have to get a digital and just wait for a used physical copy like months down the road. Yeah, I saved. But I want the digital deluxe. I want everything with this game. I want all the extra costumes and bells and whistles and all that stuff. Plus, I want to play it on day one. Okay. Uh, we have two slots open to grab items. We have the shotgun... The pistol, I think we're good to go. Let's go explore those two rooms, shall we? Almost kind of know my way. Almost kind of. <laughs> Shut up. As I say again, my big mouth. I know my way around the police station. And I go in the wrong door. Brandon, you're out? Buddy. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that guy there the whole time. <laughs> He's got a loud burp. It sounds that way. Okay, here we go. We're going to have... No, no, I mean, I, I know you uh, give up on me, but I know what you mean. It's hard to get back into the tank controls. It's really awkward at first. And like I say, they throw you right in. There's, I think there's four zombies out off the beginning. You got to dodge your way to get to that store. I got bounced back and forth with them too. One was eating me, then one would grab me from behind. And it was just like, ah, Jesus. You have used the precinct key. Here we go. What's in here? I don't know, but I'm equipping the shotgun because it's too quiet. Who's here? This is the break room, maybe? Anything on this table? Nothing useful. Okay. Lockers. Nothing in this locker. There's going to be a zombie in one of these, isn't there? Oh, shotgun shells. Thank you. Nothing in this locker. Nothing in this locker. Okay. Oh, 
Well, why can't I? Oh, look at that gun. It's Rex Magnum. This guy's going to come right to life when I grab it. Abe's Odyssey. I never, I never got into that one. Watchman's Diary. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. Welcome to Canada. <clears throat> okay, so this is just this guy's awful suicide move. Recently talked to the old man. He's telling us he was quiet, man. I still like that first note in the first Resident Evil where you see the guy slowly, like he's been bit, and he slowly transforms, and he's writing it in his journal. It's great. Oh, oh, Thomas is infected. Only game where you can. <laughs> what? You can what? It's farts to take out the bad guys. Really? Oh, look at this gun! I guess it's not really like Rick's. It's powerful though. Oh! What a rush! Let's look at this bad boy. Oh, that's sexy. What's that famous one in Pulp Fiction? Was it a Desert Eagle? Looks like that. Yeah, the Magnum we didn't get in Resident Evil 3, the remake. I remember finding the bullets, but we never did find it. So I'm glad I got it in the second one here. Anything in the magazine rack? Well, that was worth it for that gun. Yeah, that thing's gonna... I think that blows our heads right off. The regular zombies. I'm gonna press my luck again. And go down this hallway. I think we have to trigger an event for it to change, but I, I always suspect that something's gonna jump through. Because that's pretty much the same kind of hallway from the first Resident Evil where the dogs come out. And then I think it's hunters or lickers. So because I can't remember where the chest is at this particular moment, I'm running all the way back. There's our buddy there. Let's just call him uh, old Steve. We're going to leave Steve alone. I'm going to put this magnum in the chest because space is of the importance. And I don't know what's in the armory room. But I'm hoping it's the bazooka. That would be nice. That would be a nice surprise. It's got to be something good in there. What's up, Jeff? A sealed copy of Excite Bike. Dude. Really? Ooh, send me a picture. That's freaking wicked, man. What a great game. <laughs> well, they're not going to feel lucky when I... Uh, take their heads off with one shot but unfortunately we're not going to bring it with us right now oh there you go come to Canada we'd love to have you buddy Canada is a great, great, great country. Honestly, there was a there's a period when I wanted to live in uh, California and in, in Vegas, but that time has passed. Yeah, I, I wouldn't give anything, or I would, uh, I wouldn't trade anything. I want to stay in Canada. I'm not making sense. You guys know what I'm trying to say. No place I'd rather be. There you go. I got it out. Even though the weather sucks, Brandon knows it. The weather sucks. But uh, I'll put up with it. Oh, 
Those are rose colored uh, glasses, Stanley. Believe me, you're not missing much. Toys R Us is so expensive compared to everywhere else. And because they are niche now, and they're so fueled by nostalgia, they know that and they've jacked their prices up. It's crazy. They have good stuff there, man, but you're paying a lot more for it. Tell you what I'll do. I'll go to mine, which is like five minutes down the road. I'll take a first person video of you. How about that? Or for you. And we'll do a walkthrough. And then I'll do the close ups of the price tags. You'd be like, I'm good. What? You're coming to Canada for real? Like, for real, for real. You mean for a job? Like, for an assignment? Or you're moving to Canada? Oh, I know, Stanley. And it's easy for me to say, too, right? Because there is one just down the road. We've never not had a Toys R Us. We've always had them. But I don't go to them too often anymore. Again, that's where the whole Cobb Vanth thing started. If you don't know, check out my video on YouTube of Cobb Vanth. Where he's like $60. What? It's electronically locked. There's a card reader on... Oh, okay, jeez. I was going to say that card doesn't work. I was trying to do it on the door, not the card reader. That makes sense. All right, here we go. Uh, I better equip the shotgun. That would be a smart move. Before we start grabbing at stuff, let's uh, survey the rooms like usual. Oh wow. Something tells me we're going to need more space. Take the shells. Pretty good for what prices or just what they have in there? There's got to be a weapon in here. Come on. Oh, here we go. There's a machine gun and a side pack. Ooh. The side pack I can carry more items. Will you equip the side pack? Heck yes. Oh, look at that. It's like Mutt and Junkyard. It's like Snake Eyes version 3. Dude, that would be that would be like super crazy if you came to Canada. That would be amazing. There's a side pack. I should probably save it for Claire. Oh, here's our first morality decision. Should I take it for myself? Ultimately, it doesn't really matter cuz I'm going to be playing Claire too. Do I really need it? Well, if they say I should save it for Claire, perhaps I should save it for Claire. All right, I'll save it for Claire. Oh, it's the... What? I went to a different locker. It's the same thing. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's many factors why this stuff's all expensive. I, I get it. I just... Unfortunately, like you guys have seen... Chad and I, you know, rant and rave about this stuff. But it's really... It hasn't killed toy collecting for me, but it's definitely slowed it down. Okay, so where is this other... We have to go back up to the first floor of the police station to use the green key. You always left it for Claire, okay. Well, if the game's advising us, we'll do that. We'll leave it for Claire. And I'm going to go back into the police station because there's that last... I don't know if it's the last, but there's another green door we got to go to. Uh... Well, I'm really pushing my luck. I keep going up and down this hallway. The reason I know for sure something's going to happen too is because we can get wires to close the shutters that we don't have. There's obviously a reason for that. Oh god, something's loading. Okay. So we're going to go around... All the way around. Okay, through this door. Easy, easy, easy. How's Odd World? Being ultra cautious here, what's over here? Something on the table. Let me take the film. <laughs> Developing the pictures didn't really do anything last time though. But I'm sure there's gonna be a hey, what's that right there? Something is on the wheel. Light the Queen, King of the Jack. Wait, Light the Queen, King of the Jack. Let me start with it. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna light it on fire, I guess? Oops. You don't need to use this right now. Light, the queen, the king, and the jack. Carriage will start running. I wonder if that's something we have to put in there. We at the art room? No. We 
Number 13 has been etched. I've already burned that painting. Number 12 has been etched. Number 11 has been etched. trying to see if do these statues look different so we have to light them in a certain order that's what I'm guessing we have to do here what do we find ah uh, yeah I'm gonna take that yeah which one though Go back and look at that painting. I think this was the clue right here, right? Queen, King, and Jack. Queen, King, Jack. Okay. So the Queen's, I'm guessing, the middle. Stop, 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 stop. Don't need to use this right now. Yeah, who's the sicko who, like, did all this stuff, hid everything? I don't think it was really hidden. I think it was just left. Maybe we have to go develop that film first. Or maybe I should light this on fire. Okay. can't see their faces. This is the queen here, it looks like. Okay. It's one of these two. I'm going to guess this is the king. And this is the jack. Wrong! Hmm. The only other thing I can think of is that I have to go develop the film and that will give us the order. Yeah, but which one is which? Or is that that pictures? I was just looking at the names. It's probably showing me the order. Not really. I mean, I can't really make that out. Is this part of the same puzzle, though? Queen, the king, and the jack. Okay, so this is part of the same puzzle. Okay, let's try this order. screwed it up already then. Let's try this sort of then this one. And this one. And this one. There we go. Okay. 
Let me guess. We don't have any room. I knew it. We don't have any room to carry the cog, which we need to go put in the clock. So let's look at the map. I need to go all the way to the development area to develop this film. Okay. I'm going to have uh, just a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in two minutes, guys. And we'll go develop that film and put that cog in the clock. Uh, two minutes. Be right back. I'm back. We can't carry that. Going all the way around. Low gamer, I think that's how you pronounce it. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, mate? What's going on? Happy Saturday. Welcome to Resident Evil 2. Let's check our map again. Uh, this is our part two of our playthrough of Resident Evil 2 for PS1. So what I'm doing in the game right now is I'm going to develop the film. Great Alaska, welcome to the stream. Hello, how you doing? You remember this game as a kid? It scared the crap out of you. Yeah. Yeah, you missed it like probably 10 minutes ago, maybe 15 minutes ago. We had to go into the sewers, and that's where you encounter the big tarantulas. Oh, my God, that was hilarious. I was literally like, it was creeping me out. Welcome to the stream. We haven't had a boss yet, Jacques, which is crazy. This is... I don't know. I feel like we've been playing a while now. I'm just so used to Nemesis popping out every two seconds in the third one. Okay, let's empty out our... Uh bag here. I don't know if we need this gun right now. I'm probably going to re regret this decision, but for right now, the gun goes here. First aid spray we're going to keep. Okay, that, that leaves two slots open. Does Destiny have a plot? Uh, yeah. It's harder to understand, at least it is for me. I find Bungie in general, their writing is uh, its confusing. Even with Halo, Halo got really crazy. 
The Kalo 3 wasn't uh, the greatest. But yeah, Destiny, I couldn't tell you what the point of Destiny is. I couldn't even begin to tell you. All I know is the Volta Glass raid was some of my favorite gaming experiences I ever had. But I had to stop. When Destiny 2 came out, it didn't do anything for me. They didn't need to bring out a 2. They could have just kept adding on like WoW is done. You love that game, dude. Yeah, I was watching some YouTube videos on it. It looks really good. Rogue Galaxy. Okay, we are saved. We are caught up for now. So let's put the ink ribbon back. Uh, and develop this film. Radical Toys, welcome to the stream. Yeah, Resident Evil 2. It's our second stream, our second um, part of the playthrough. How you doing, man? Nope, we want to go this way. So how many times have you finished World Galaxy, Jacques? I'm going to guess like 10. hear something what is that do you hear that we hear a noise Stanley that's what we hear you hear that is that the dogs oh God, you can't see anything with these angles oh it's the electricity panel that we already patched Woo! Uh, well, right now, for Resident Evil 9, right now I'm so stoked for the fourth one to come out in a couple weeks. Uh, I played through the demo. Uh, that video's on my channel here. I am so pleased with 4. Um, I'm not a super huge fan of the first person stuff that they did with 7 and 8. But I just want it to stay scary. I think it lost its way for a while there in the late 2000s. Uh, it's since found its way back, thankfully, but I don't know. I would like to see some of the old older characters come back. I'm just checking if I'm on the right track. What did I say that's funny? What's so funny about me over here? What about you, Radical? What would you like? And are you going to play the, uh, the remake of 4? That demo is crazy. It's so gorgeous. The game is just fantastic looking. Now when we develop this, it better give us something good. No, but there's going to be one. We're just kind of talking about, you know, what, what do you want to see next from the series? Film B. It's dead bodies. Great. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, well, there's definitely no rush, right? What was the point of that? Yeah, five. I don't like five. I don't want to say I don't like five. I like all of the Resident Evils, but five was my least favorite. Six, not so good. Okay, so we're going to go back and get that cog. And then we have to go to the clock tower. If I can remember how to get there, it's on the third floor. Because I think we put that cog in it. 
Oh god, where am I? You've played two and three. Okay, that's fair. Um, one is still my favorite. And the best version of it is the remake they did on GameCube, which is the current one that you can get it on anything. So if you have a PS4, you can get Resident Evil 1 and 0 on the same disc for, like, dirt cheap. That one is so good. So I would, as much as I want to see Resident Evil 9, I really want um, a remake of number one. Another remake where they do it in the style of the two, three, and four remakes, the over the shoulder. Yeah, five is where they really beefed up Chris. They made him like this uh, almost Schwarzenegger Predator-ish character. Like Dutch from Predator. That's what he reminded me of anyway. Uh, so that box I already attached a cord to. And what that did was it dropped the shutters down. There's another sparking... Uh, sparking box that's kind of back where we have to go but I don't have another cord so what that does will that'll shut the shutters again so that the next wave of enemies won't come and attack us but I don't have the cord and I had a cord but I chose to put it there which was kind of stupid because we were kind of done with that area I should have put it in the new area <laughs> You played Resident Evil 1, you just put it in, you got 8 again? If you play the first one and you you pick Chris, it's a little harder because you just start with the knife. The knife, it's nothing you're doing, dude. The knife is literally useless. I'm trying to remember where that cog was. Oh, boy. Oh, Resident Evil 2, you tried again. You gotta, as soon as it starts, you go straight, then you zag up to the left. That's what I do, and you cut through those guys. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely not for everybody. Uh, I think I go up and around here. I'm trying to remember where that cog was. Yeah, it's this way. That sucked. I couldn't pick it up. The new item we need is this cog that we just did the puzzle for, but I didn't have any room in my inventory. But I unlocked it, so it's literally sitting on the ground. I just have to remember where to go and watch me play. <laughs> that's, that's cool, dude. It's not for everybody. There's lots of games I watch streamers play all the time. Mostly the competitive shooting stuff. I'll watch that all day long. But I don't really like to play. I don't like to play it anymore. Again, Fortnite's the only one that I'll entertain. Zig when you should have zagged, exactly. But a Great Alaska, if you remember the beginning of Resident Evil 2, there's the cog. They drop you literally right in the middle of like four zombies. It's really tough. Especially if you're not used to the tank controls, if you haven't played it in a while. You're just trying to figure out what to do and then you're just constantly getting eaten. It's really frustrating. Hey, I was going to start Fallout 4. Remember? I threw it out there. I can't remember what the other choice was. It was like, do you guys want me to start Fallout 4 or whatever the other game was? And you guys picked the other game. I had Fallout 4 ready to go. Okay, I have to get to... The Clock Tower. We're going to do Fallout 4, believe me, because I've only scratched the surface with that game. In Great Alaska, the, 
the problem with this too, uh, the old school Resident Evils like this, they're very hardcore where you only get a certain number of ink ribbons. With the new ones, they kind of hold your hand a bit more so you can over save. This one, you have to pick your saves very carefully. And if you do a lot of stuff and you happen to die, it's a real, it's a bitch. It just sucks. Because you have to remember, okay, do I have to go back and get that crank again? Like, where am I? What did I get? What didn't I get? <laughs> Guys, thank you again for... Oh, God! Did I get out with me today? Okay, we've got the second batch of stronger enemies starting to spawn. Whew. I, I said this on my last stream, or I said this on my playthrough of the three, Resident Evil 3 remake. I'm trying to remember how to get upstairs. Hang on. Uh, and what I what I like about Capcom's remakes for Resident Evil is they don't make this one obsolete because when you play this one it's a completely different control style you get completely different points of view it's really great they're really really smart with, with how they do their remakes I think I want to go this way I don't really remember how to get up to the clock. Yeah, if you want to play old school tank controls again, just boot up the old ones. And again, they put these games on so many systems. Chances are you have a system that can play the old Resident Evils. This is not the right way. How do I get to the clock? If you like, oh, I think this is it here. If you like Resident Evil, I would suggest if you're getting a new gen, if you haven't played newer stuff since PS3, I would suggest the PS5 because you can play PS4 games. And the PS4 has every single Resident Evil up to now. All the main games. Plus even a few of the side ones like Revelations. But those will all play on your PS5. This is not where I need to go. I'm kind of lost here. Yeah, I just... I don't remember how to get to the clock tower. That's... Like, I'm literally blanking right now. It's not this way. It is not this way. Yeah, I just ignore these birds. They're not too difficult to dodge. That's it right there. That blue door. I think this is the way. Yeah, it's the third floor. Yeah, I just, I'm trying to remember which stairway to take. I 
I think it's this. Nope, it's not this one. So then it's here. It's got to be on the left side here. Oh, I think that's it right there. Hey, TJ, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, my man. Are you not playing uh, Elden Ring? Or you just have this on the background? You and Hans playing right now. to be let's go back over to the right side of the second floor is it through here or is there another door there's another door no here Shauna welcome there we go oh, look you see I knew that hallway would get triggered at least they're not hunters but they're like ah you know what you're not going to uh, get away without uh, using up all of your ammo there buddy boy Oh yeah, Great Alaska. The puzzle solving in this is, is awesome. It, it makes you think. It's good. Someone said it on a, a stream a while ago, or not a while ago, it was a few days ago actually. I think it was our buddy TK. Can't remember who it was. But they were, they were basically saying once you learn where everything is, like you can finish this game in like 20 minutes because there's so much backtracking, but I don't mind that. The, the, the environments are so amazing that you just get immersed in this world. So I don't mind going back and forth. Here we go. We did it. Put the cog in here. I don't need this right now. What? Oh, it's up. up further here here we go there's the spot right there here we go are we gonna push it Is open. The question is, my friends, do we save it or do we go through the door? Maybe go through the door. Oh, take the night plug. Oh god, an old dust shoot. Will you jump down? If we have to fight some more spiders, like I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight any more spiders. I don't want to help you procrastinate. <laughs> Ginny will kill me. 
can put it on the TV and then do your host work. The Great Alaska, do you remember what's down here? Are, are you setting me up for, uh, or are you, I should say, warning me for a big fight? I don't remember what's down here. But I did go down here earlier, or a, a section of the basement, and it was like spiders, and I got scared, and I don't want to deal with that. But here we go, three, two, one. Oh, God. Well, that's going to be a fun fight. I'm looking forward to it. Where are where are we? So what did that that do? That just dropped me. I guess we have to go fight that thing. Like that just dropped me into an area we've already been. We're gonna have to fight this thing. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the cell where that guy was. Where do I have to go? We don't, we have all these chess pieces that I, I know it was for a puzzle. Is that what's next? Really not sure here. Well, let's walk around and find out. I guess we're going to go fight that thing. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. Uh, <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. Whoa. Get that scum. Make him pay. I will. Hang in there, Ben. My oh god. Chest. Oh it's god. Burning. Oh god. What's wrong? Ah! Ada, help me. Good god, what was that? Mail. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference uh, will have no lasting effect upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Retfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to the light that the STARS have been Ha or if it comes to light, the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research. Dispose of them in such a manner. Uh, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. You son of a bitch! Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Oh, this is more to it. Jeez. I've deposited the amount of 10,000 US dollars in the account for your services. The police chief is corrupt. He's a bad man. Okay. 
There's more. Look at all this. Well, I have received information from me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover the research on the G virus. There's an unknown number of agents involved. Okay. Well, that's a pretty, uh, pretty valuable letter. Where are you going, Ada? Don't run away. To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait. Hey. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? If I go in this cell, am I going to trigger this guy? Uh, actually, I'm going to check this bookshelf here. Nothing. What about this? Oh, there's a herb in here. Uh, let's grab that. I'm gonna need all the health I can get. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I brought health with me. I'm gonna get this anyway. There's two. Sewer time. All right. We went down there already. We've been there. Oh, green and blue. It's sort of poison. Guys, I'm scared. Help me. Help me help you. Cutthroat, I'm headed to the sewers. Okay. Uh, it's this way. Save me to cruise. <laughs> Oh, this dog. Is this dog going to kill I need to... While we were talking about it, I need Rick Grimes right now. This dog's going to bust out. Just bust out. Let's get it over with. two right now I'm just Ada just really took off this is where the spiders were oh oh I can hear them still they're dead but I can here we go okay oh god I'm scared nothing that way okay I don't think there was anything here though Straight through, straight through, okay. Straight through. Ada just takes off and leaves. You get your cat for support. <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? Oh, here we go. What is that? Is that thing okay? Boss time! You fool. Do you know who I am? Oh, God. Get off me. Get off me, this minute. Oh, I'm hurt. Uh, there's nothing there. I can't go that way. Oh, man, they're all over me. 
Easy, easy. Okay, shh. Let me think. There's our poison one. I don't know if I want to use that right now. If I want to use the spray. Um, let me use the spray. Switch here. Get rid of these guys. Can't get them off. He's got me boxed in. Okay, you know what that means? You brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself, buddy. Oh. Okay, these guys, get him off. Get him off. I still can't move past this plateau. These things are gonna kill me. Got one. Oh, no, stop, 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 stop. <sighs> that was close. Let's get me out of here. Oh, it's still on me. Get. Okay, I don't. Stop it. Stop it. Get off me. I want my pistol. How do I shake it off? It's not. God, that was intense. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Come on. Piece of crap. Okay, they're dead. Now let's just go check Bozo over here. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> okay, now is that it? Is that it? Are they dead or they leave me alone? Okay. Now we need all the plug thingies, which we don't have. Okay, we got to go back, it looks like, and we have to get all the different uh, chess pieces to get through this part. That was cool. That boss physically stopped me from moving to other places. That was really neat. So I was kind of trapped in that corner. Those little guys were hard to get to. Storage. I need the chest is what I need. You guys remember where the chest is down here? Right here. <sighs> Thank God. I think I got the basement plans already. With Ada. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna heal and we're gonna save. No, I don't wanna check. I don't wanna check. Okay, so we need all the chess pieces. Where are they? Bishop, King, Rook. Oh yeah, we gotta save first. And I keep forgetting to do that. Put this old shotgun that has no ammo away because we have that other shotgun. Remember, we have two. So let's save and then equip that other shotgun. Oh, isn't it good? The music's so good. So atmospheric. Even though the, the save room music is still creepy, it's still kind of comforting, but creepy at the same time. Future Cop LAPD. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I played that one. 
one. Okay, we're all saved up. We're all healed up. Oh, I don't think I brought healing agents with me. Well, we're just going to have to tread back. It's not that far of a walk. We only have so much space. King, Rook, Bishop. Okay. King, Rook, Bishop. This game does rock, dude. I, I absolutely love it. Okay. Uh, I'm going back just to get some healing now that we have a little bit of space. Just one healing thing. We still have that submachine gun. It doesn't take ammo, which is cool. I mean, it runs out of ammo, but it's on a percentage base instead of taking actual cartridges or bullets. Uh, okay. So let's get one healing agent. Not going to save it. Because if we die, I want the chess pieces in my inventory so I remember where what we have to do. That's my thinking there. You guys holding up okay? Everyone good? God. All right, here we go. Good stuff. Ada. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got bent. Yeah, I'm off coffee and on water now, too. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Yeah, so stop okay. running away. Let's fight together. All right. We'll do this your way for now. Oh. She's staying with me? Oh, wow. I didn't think she was. You get a partner at number two that follows you? I do not remember this. Good, Jock. Good. Yeah, it's a good turnout today. A lot of fun. Rila, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm just checking the back. Uh, what are you saying here? I love the music after you get to the Sky Tram. Oh, I, I hope we get there. I don't remember. Filtering machine. Okay. I don't remember the music. <sighs> Me too, Jeff. Like we were talking about the other day, dude. Capcom does the remakes right because they don't make the old one completely obsolete. Unless you're a graphics snob. Which I don't think any of us are. Like if you, uh, it's so ugly. You don't want to play like older games. I, I feel for those people. Graphics are great, but that doesn't make the game. You want terrible tank controls like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, Ada, let's go. Two blue herbs, meaning there's going to be poison coming up. Uh, do we want to equip or do we want to 
pick those up right now? I don't think so. Alright. Save point again. Where's the box? There's no box here, though. Oh, there is a box! Okay, I'm gonna go get those blue herbs. Sweet! That's a pretty close chest compared to the other one. Like, that wasn't far at all. We left Ada in the room. Zero is here. What's up, brother? Good after... Yes, good afternoon. How you doing, man? Sewer manager fax. Not my first time playing Rila. My first time playing it since probably the Dreamcast version. Which would have been 99 or 2000. Actually, I had it on GameCube as well. First and the third Wednesdays of the month. Chief maintenance will take blah, 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 blah. 20th of every month. I'm just skimming these here. See what's in this. Nothing. See what's on the wall. Nothing. Can I get the unlimited ammo cheat? I'm not sure. I don't know how to. Usually with these games, Capcom usually sets in a, a timer that you can't see. And I think if you beat the game under a certain amount of time, you get uh, stuff like that. Or you get, like, I remember the first game, you get a rocket launcher. So I'm going to save it here so we're fresh. Fresh new area. Uh, I'm getting low on ribbons. I don't know if I should. I'm going to do it anyway. We've been good with ribbons. One spray. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna save it here. I'm definitely gonna save it here. Yeah, I called it like fresh new area. We haven't been here before. Oh, we have eight. Okay, I don't know. Just six. There was two there too. Great. I feel better now. Let's save it. Here we go. Boom. Brandon, you're 6'6? Six, six. Ooh, Michael Jordan. It's old Jordan's height. Dude, that's that's tall. My best friend's 6'2, and I think he's a giant. I'm 5'7. Jeff's 5'8, Jacques 6'2. I'm the smallest. <laughs> oh, wait, what did Shauna say? Oh, you're 5'6. There you go. Oh, that's right. Zero, you and I are the same height. That's right. Okay, we're taking this down. Here we go. Ada, help me. Cutthroat, you're six foot. Who's that? Shoot her in the face. 
Oh, she got nailed. Oh no, Leon, Leon got nailed. That woman was. I have to talk to her. Amazing. Leon takes the bullet for Ada, and all Ada says is, "That woman, I have to talk to her." And Leon's just like dead on the ground. That's pretty funny. Okay, we have two ways we can go. Well, let's go this way. It's an elevator. This is the way we came, correct? No, this is not the way we came. So what's this way then? Uh, two elevators. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to get deeper into this complex, but I'm going to take this map. Cut through it. This might be the map you were talking about. I really like how you can't just walk through like other characters. That's cool. Sewer maps. Ugh. So we have the sewer map. Holy jeez. Okay, let's check out this other room. Backtrack into the left. Let's do that first since it's kind of isolated on its own. Let's see what's in there. I'll have to catch that woman. They're not going to let me do it. No, he's not dead. He just took a bullet for Ada. But <laughs> her response is like, I've got to catch that woman. And Leon just lies there and bleeds out. She doesn't even give him a, like a herb or anything. Yeah, maybe the turtles are down here to save us. Oh, there she is. I'm going to go the opposite. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, that was disgusting. Oh. oh, God. Did you see it pulsating? Oh, dude. Zero, this is the thing. These spiders, man. And there's one coming at me on the on the ceiling. Ah. <laughs> I have no shotgun. All right, you know what? What would Luke Skywalker do? He would do this. Oh, I got poisoned right away. <laughs> Come on, you mother. Damn it! Yeah, thank God I could bring up the menu and it kind of pauses the way things are. I guess I gotta go back and uh, gotta try and remember how to get back. Oh, they won't let me. Maybe it, maybe this elevator will let me go. I gotta get the uh, the blue herb. See you, Chad. Take care, buddy. Have a good practice, man. Oh, see that other one here. Are you guys ready? Oh, I hate it so much. I hate it. Where is it? Oh, oh look at it, dudes. Oh, that is effing disgusting. Oh, I'm not going that way. She went down this way anyway, so we're just going this way. Did she go up the ladder? There's two ways here. 
There's a ladder, and then there's this. There's got to be something here. Give me a blue herb. I don't need anything right now. These guys don't have any, like, helmets or anything. Like, you're wearing, like, a cocktail dress. What? It says he's holding something. He's holding something. I don't need this right now. That is just stupid. Ada is so obsessed with catching this person. That she won't even pick up the items. That maybe can heal her from the poison. Oh, God. Ugh! Okay, I can't move. <laughs> what is happening? How do I fight these things? <laughs> go! Yes, go down the ladder. Oh my god. I'm trying to shoot out roaches here. Well, Ada's, like, dead. And she's poisoned. She's gonna start limping soon. That's a stupid thing. Right. Don't move. You're the one who is with Don't shoot! Cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his yeah, that's girlfriend's right. name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. <gasps> William Birkin. That what? Son of a John's bitch. dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating virus. the ultimate virus. There's another virus. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Oh, no, it's then like it's a sequel. Mean, the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. Psycho. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Wow, they killed him. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William, oh my, hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Roger. Oh, he injected himself. Oh, no. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? Why? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. Oh. But at what well, cost? What Damn it. Something's what wrong. cost? Let's check it out. Over there. Shoot. Eat this, you freak. Uh oh, look it? at the size of that guy. Hurry. 
What is this thing? Fire! Fire! Oh boy. The bullets, they do nothing. Blah. So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. And create offspring. No. We're in deep now. <laughs> oh, fight! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Uh. Too bad. Oh, she's dead. Oh, I'm almost dead because I'm poisoned. Well, I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, I guess I'll use this. I'm just trying to run as quick as I can because I'm going to lose all this health again, too. Oh, now what? Now what charade? He's back! Ada. Good, she was poisoned. I don't want to be her anymore. Ah, oh, Leon, it's so good to be back to my guy. Oh, he's got battle damage now. Sick. Dun, 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 Leon. All right, now, are you going to let me go wherever I want? Probably not. Back on my feet, you got it. He's back, baby. Oh, okay, so now I'm going to try and do that room that we couldn't go in before. So again, we're going to turn around and go left. Yes. I want to discover what's in that room first before we go into this labyrinth. Or is this where all oh, this is the safe room? Yeah, this is the safe room. I'm at a crossroads, guys, because our time is uh, our time is up here for streaming. I feel like I don't want to quit, but I feel like this is a good spot to leave it because it's like a fresh new area. So we're gonna grab some ink ribbon here. Save it. Oh, you're welcome, Great Alaska. Thanks for uh, stopping by and watching. I, d I do appreciate the support, man. Uh, we're going to leave it right here. And I'm not going to play it again until we, we stream it again. I just don't want to get into a labyrinth. And then we kind of run out of time and we have to just cut it off. So we're at a save point. So we'll continue from here next time. Um, guys, thanks again. Thanks for everyone who uh, threw in the uh, super chats. I appreciate the support that way. And for hanging out. Great conversation. As always, I might do another stream later today. But I have a lot of uh, video editing I need to do before... 
I do that again a couple videos I need to put up. So thanks, guys. Okay? And if I don't see you on the live stream, we'll see you tomorrow for morning coffee. Take care, my friends. Cheers.